What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new episode of my videos. Cody Bogue went and sound right in that sense, but yeah, the wind's blowing real hard. Sorry about that. And uh, as y'all read in the title, we got some new puppies and uh, we had to go somewhere. So I put them in a little bee cage and we got them some water right here. Cause it's really kind of really hot out here today. And uh, so what we gotta do is Peppa had uh, this little pen right over there so you can see it, but it, uh, it has a wood bottom and the recent the last litter of puppies we had it actually we're just going to use that excuse the wood made their hair come off so we're going to make it the bottom wire yeah so here's a reveal of the puppies yeah they pretty they're going to be for rabbit dogs probably and if they're too big we'll probably use them for deer dogs so a lot of training videos coming soon so i gotta get these water these puppies their water because they're probably really freaking thirsty Now we heading up here to the shed to help daddy build this bottom floor. It's like a cage floor, you'll see. They didn't have cedar slices for bedding, so we got this pine, pine tree stuff. So I don't know if it makes a difference. If it does, I'll leave it down in the comments. Diddy got most of this cage right here built and everything while I was gone. We had to measure part of my brother's house so he knew where to put a port. What are you doing with that? Lay it over there. In here. When you're ready to change it out, we'll back him up. And then spray it off with a water hose. Got all the pine stuff in there for the puppies to lay down on. All that out there to walk and maybe they'll crap on that so it'll fall through. We got mama over here painting some shutters. Hello. Where's the garbage? Oh. We're gonna put this right here in the shed. That way it'll be getting ready for next time. Now let's transport these puppies to their new house or home. Get them over too. Okay. Golly, they're soaking wet from all that water I gave them. Come here, buddy. Grab my phone and follow me to that pen. Got the puppies in there. Well, Tell them their cut names. Cut the floor out and redo it. Huh? What do you do? Cut the floor out and redo it? No, not three boards. Oh, yeah, I see that now. Done it. Tell them what their names are. This one's Jesse. Look at their faces, how pretty. Hey, man. Come here, Johnny. Come here, Johnny. Come That's here, Johnny. Susie, I think. I don't know. Daddy just randomly named them one of the first names that came to his head. That one's Susie, ain't it? Yeah, that's a girl. That's Susie. This one is John. Come on. I don't know what this one is. Come on. I forgot what Come this on, one's man. name was. Oh, that one's Jody. His name's Jody. That's the man we bought him from. He's in our hunting club. It's good to walk on that wire. Which one is? Johnny. That's Johnny. 
Got this soft bed for them. Like I said, maybe they'll crap through them holes right there. Close this up. They can see through the bottom, it probably scares them. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Daddy just grabs the dog crap out of it. They'll probably stay over on this wood the whole time. You don't reckon that'll make a difference, do you? Maybe their hair don't come off like the last ones. Come on, Susie. Come on, Jody. Where you going, buddy? Hey, look how pretty their faces are. Big old ears. They're gonna be rabbit dogs, and then, but if they're too big, they'll probably be deer dogs. I don't like that wire. He's walking across it. There they go, they're walking now. They Look at them, they out. stay on that wood line right there. <laughs> walking across that wood line. Yes, he's on it. That's Jody. Yes, he's coming across the middle. Yeah. Hunter Daddy, we just put them in that cage at Jody's house, and every, he grabbed one. The first name that came to his head, he looked to see if it was a boy or girl. The first name that came to his head, he, named, he said, that's Jesse, that's Jody. Yeah. That's Susie. But he's, he's the, that, he calls it Suzanne, Susie, Susan. Why don't you just go to the pond and go fishing? Right up and under, I ain't catching Now let's get on these puppies' first meal. Get the hashtag. They're a little scared of their home, but they'll get used to it. They'll get used to walking across that wire. They'll have to eventually. Probably gonna put their food right in the middle of that wire. That way, they'll get used to walking on the wire. And then when they spill their food, it'll go right to the ground. So that's the plan. So we'll get right to their feeding thing, like I said. Give them their first meal. No, as a bow, we're gonna give them their first meal. This ain't their first meal, but as you can tell, I mean, they're just, they're built like bows. But you know, their first meal as a bow. Right now, I'm taking this little ice cream bucket down to the house. That way, I can wash it out and put some water in it for them pups. But uh, the reason this is a lifetime lesson, we actually kept the mama, which is one of our dogs, we kept her in the pen with her babies, which is what you're supposed to do when they're small. But one was a lot bigger than the others, and it actually crawled in the big water bucket. And sad to say, it drowned. That's why we're gonna get this the small bucket. If we got a bowl, then it it would they would. Spill it over every time. So we gotta make something a little bit heavier with a little bit more, that can hold a little bit more water. That way that they can't knock it over and they can stand up in, so. I'm gonna put a little bit of cold water because this water is really hot, golly. I can't water, I can't clean this out and record at the same time, so I see how long I get done. But uh, actually has a big old crack in the side of it so the water won't always stay at the very top. Feed right here, we let it soak in hot water, and uh, now we're gonna put some milk in there, put it in the microwave, and uh, go up here to shed and feed them hunger songs. We got our milk right here. Pour it in there, like cereal. There we go. Good enough. Not much more in there. Now let's get this stuff in the microwave, get it just a little bit warm. So they ain't gotta be eating cold milk, cold cereal. Even though cereal's supposed to be cold, this ain't cereal, so it's gonna be warm. Instead of puppy chow, this is puppy cereal. Puppy warm cereal. Bruh. Food's all warmed up out of this bowl into this bowl so that all four of them can fit around it and uh, eat a big cereal meal. Right now we headed out there to the puppy pen and uh, Got them their warm cereal. Puppy warm cereal. Kind of tried to mash it up a little bit. It didn't work too good, but it's all thawed, up, thawed out. It's all soft though. So I mean, these are big puppies, so they should eat it. They don't need to be sleeping right there on the very end of the cage, which is where they are. Oh, I think some of them. Yeah, they're all four piled up right there. Ain't good, boys. Y'all need to get out of that hole and come over and go sleep in your real house. You're going to freeze to death. You sleep right there all night. I ain't even kidding. All right. Here we go. I'll see y'all when we get them fed because I can't. They'll probably come out if I open the door. They all eating all them fat beagles. That right there ain't that hungry. That blue tick. 
That's just, that's okay. He ain't hungry, he ain't hungry, you know? Let him sit there and smack. They probably got, <laughs> what the crap? <laughs> he thinks he's got to crawl under him. He won't freaking focus. He thinks he's got to crawl under him. Oh, he's jealous. That's what he is, he's jealous. I don't think, I don't think the blue, why is it not focusing? It's focusing on this fence. There we go. Finally got to focus on it. But, uh, they ain't, they ain't used to it. They eat puppy chow, but this is their new puppy chow. That's what we've always fed our puppies. We ain't the richest people in the world, so I mean, we can't, we ain't gonna go buy a whole bunch of puppy chow for some rabbit dolls. Anyway, here is Jody. There's Susie. That right there is um, Johnny. And that is, uh, crap, I forgot his name. Jesse, Jesse and Johnny. There we go. Those are the two best. Those are the two best ones. I'm calling it. I think that they are. I think that this that, that right there's got a real pretty face. They all got real pretty faces, but man, y'all get full real quick, don't you? Bruh. They drank all the milk out of it. They're probably still full from what they ate this morning. That right there's gonna be a big sun run right there. Maybe put maybe putting the feed on the wire right there will get them used to walking across the wire, and maybe they'll use the bathroom on the wire. But uh, they'll get used to it. See, there he goes. He's gonna go in his house. See, they're finna go in the house. They're getting used to it. They're just wandering around right now. They just ate some food. They got a little bit of energy. I don't know. That right there looks like he's about to freaking puke. There's gonna be some rabbit dog right there, but on four more months, they're gonna be freaking burning them up. All right, they're gonna be starting in four more months. Okay, hey, it's me again. Um, You might wonder, what am I doing? That was, should have been the end of my video. Well, no. We're out here a week and two days later because we're on a mission. And before we get on that, I'm gonna give you an update on the puppies. And uh, it's been a week and two days later. I don't know how much bigger they're supposed to be, but there they are. I don't think they, I ain't watched the video from a week and two days later ago. I haven't watched those videos in a while or since then, probably since I edited it out. But uh, when you're with around something for so long, you can't tell when they grow. So they might have grown a lot. I don't know. Definitely a lot more wilder than they were. Like them songs, you let them out and they'll be flying across that yard, chasing Darcy. You no, know, we gotta feed them fat butter balls two times a day. Don't talk to me that way. And I clean their cage out every day. So them songs are so wild. I have to put them in this thing. It don't have a top on it, but you know it's got a good bit of room. They can just run around in it. And then I take them out. I put them in there. And then I clean their cage out. That way they're not walking all over poop. Okay, so like I said, we're on a mission today. So what that mission is, is we're going to be saving lives. Okay, so before I head out there to the shed, I'm going to tell you what lives we're saving. So we have limited pens, four or five deer dogs. Most of them are girls, but we have two males. And we had to put one male in with his sister. You put the two to two together. So you're like, what does that have to do with anything? What does that have to do with saving lives? So I walked up there today and she actually has her puppies. And uh, yeah, they're pretty. So what I've got to do is go in the shed and we're going to get some of that cedar stuff, put it in the ranger, take it out to the dog pen and put it in the little house we have them in. And then I'm going to put the babies in there. And then there's a lot of holes. So if any way they get out, they could get in them holes when it rains, which it looks like it's going to rain today. And uh, they could get in those holes and drown. So we got to fill them up with dirt. Got to keep the shed closed now because I don't want the dogs getting in here because we put rat poison out. Come here, boy. Cedar. Let's go, Darcy. See y'all in a little while to let y'all out. Never mind all the junk back here. Daddy, this is apparently a trash can. Darcy, come on, get in here. Get in there. We gotta save lives today, son. Shotgun rider today. Hey. There you go. Wow. We have arrived. Now we're gonna hurry up and try to get out here and do this as fast as we can. Golly, this needs to go in part. We're gonna get out here and try to do this as fast as we can. Crap, I forgot to bring a shovel. Because these things are trying to wander around. I'll show them to you. See them in there? This is their mama and that is their daddy. Brother and sister. We gotta give them a little bit of feed so they'll shut up. Won't be barking so I can record some. We've got to move fast so that I can put my tripod on there so them sun, so them sun ones won't be barking. Get back. Hope that wasn't hard crap I just stepped in. Sorry, Darcy, you can't come in today. Let's get this thing right here. Under here. That way we have access to the door. Let's get in here and uh, clean this cage out. The mama's been crapping everywhere in there. There's a pan in there. Well, there's the incest puppies. Ancestors? Not ancestors, ancestors. And there's a home that has dog crap and a big pan in there. So we gotta clean all that out before we do anything.
Why do dogs poop in their homes? Like, that's not even... You gotta be more... You gotta have more respect for yourself than that. Man, you better stay away from my babies. Cedar? That's crazy. We have two litters of puppies in one video. We sure did make a mess, but it's done. Couldn't find get it in there that good without dropping it all out of my hands. Now let's transport these puppies in their home. Me making sure that she wouldn't attack me for getting her babies. All right, there they are in their new homes. Now the mama doll is just gonna have to get used to it. Some of them get them out and bring them out. I don't know why they do that, but maybe she won't. Guys, I hope y'all like this video of me showing y'all my new puppies. They, if they're too, if they're too big, they're gonna, they're gonna be deer. Do Darcy, Darcy, they, they'll make some good rabbit dogs. I can already tell. There are. Uh, their granddaddy, I think, uh, he was like way up north and he was like winning all these, I don't know, something. He was winning all the field trials or something. I don't even know if you say winning or not. I've never went field trial one time in my life. But yeah, go down there, smash that like button, the subscribe button, and uh, see you on the next one.